This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. February is American Heart Month, and one way to keep the heart healthy is through exercise and diet. New this morning, we have registered dietitian Carrie Snyder here this morning to break it all down for us. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. So I always hear the hearing, the saying, you are what you eat. And in fact, <laughs> that does play an important role in not only our health, but in our in our heart as well to keep it yeah, healthy. Yeah, because I mean, heart disease is the number one killer for both men and women. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of things that we can do, like you said, from the diet and physical activity. With physical activity, we try and recommend people do about 150 minutes per week. Now, breaking that down into little bits makes it more reasonable. Mm -hmm. So it's about 30 minutes, five days a week, mm -hmm. or broken down even more. Um, also, something we really try and help people focus on is you know, just looking at a plate like this, mm -hmm. trying to do half that plate coming from veggies, okay? okay. And then trying to have, trying to do whole grains mm -hmm. is, a, is something we can try and do. And then the fats that we're consuming, try and getting them from, you know, olive oil. The healthy uh, fats. The, the healthy fats. Okay. Um, avocados, your nuts, your seeds, mm -hmm. you know, those sort of things. Trying to, and I tell people just start to try and incorporate what you feel like you can start with. Mm -hmm. um, also then doing fruits. And when it comes to these veggies, they don't have to be fresh vegetables. Mm -hmm. I mean, because right now those aren't in season. So doing frozen vegetables, things that are more reasonably priced right now, is now, a good way to go. Now, with, with you saying that, uh, it, can it be the same for canned vegetables too, or do we have to watch with the sodium level and yeah, salt look intake? for um, with your if you're doing canned vegetables, mm -hmm. look for ones that are no salt added. Okay, and the ones that are going to be just kind of that lower calorie ones are going to be something like your green beans, um, your carrots, um, but also uh, where we see the type of vegetables that are going to be more consistent from like the nutrients, the vitamins, antioxidants are going to be those frozen vegetables, just the way mm -hmm. canned vegetables are made. They're boiled and then um, put into the can. Um, so a lot of those nutrients are leached out. Something that we always focus on is over here um, on the other side mm -hmm. is those foods that we want to do really try and keep in moderation. The sugar added foods, the fat added foods, such as cakes and brownies and cookies, which makes up a high percentage of our American mm -hmm. diet. Um, and if we can take some of that and substitute it out for some of these healthier options, it ends up helping our heart significantly. Okay. And one diet that we want to kind of focus on today is the Mediterranean diet. Mm -hmm. What is it and does the actual Heart Association recommend that type of diet? The Mediterranean diet is actually, you know, there's 16 countries that surround the Mediterranean Sea and each one's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And we see that they actually have a higher fat um, intake, but it's from healthy fats. Those okay. mono and saturated fats, like we were talking about the avocados, the the walnuts, the, the fish, mm -hmm. olive oil. And that is one that American Heart Association has um, supported in the past, but we're also looking at more, is it their physical activity? Mm -hmm. Is it that support system that they receive also, not just the diet? So that's something, that, some other things that can definitely play a part in how heart healthy we end up being. So things that we also want to focus on is just making sure that you have a lower sodium diet. Mm -hmm. You know, that can also help from a blood pressure standpoint. Um, and that's typically when we're doing whole grains, we're doing the vegetables, we're doing the, the lean meats like the fish a, a couple times a week and poultry, we end up having a, a lower sodium diet. Okay, perfect. Now really quickly uh, before we toss it to break, you mentioned uh, the plate and portion and you know having half the plate full of vegetables and stuff like that. Can you just explain that one more time because this obviously shows a really great uh, mm -hmm. visual of, of how we should be stacking our plate. Mm -hmm. So on the top half here it talks about fruits and vegetables but mm -hmm. I really tell people to focus on those vegetables more and then um, having, having fruit a couple times a day. And then down here, um, we also want to have some sort of lean protein. Mm -hmm. um, and then on this other side, we want to focus on making sure it's that whole grain. And a lot of times, our plates are seems to be you know half of this mm -hmm. and half of this, and we don't get these vegetables right. In. 
See, the, my problem is that I need to focus on is usually half of my plate is starchy food. It's yeah. the mashed mm -hmm. potatoes, it's, <laughs> it's the white rice or something like that, which I need to cut back on and add more, more vegetables. vegetables. Okay, yep. perfect. Anything else you'd like to add? No, I mean, I'm just encouraging people to get out and be mm -hmm. active, even if though it's the winter right now, mm -hmm. just trying to utilize the resources in the community, being active at home. All right, perfect. And uh, with it being February, you're actually coming on later this month to mm -hmm. do a cooking segment, yep. and I'm sure we'll probably do a heart-healthy recipe yes. to share with our viewers. So again, mm -hmm. thank you so much, Carrie, for coming on. You're welcome. Thank you. And we'll be right back.